Hey guys, this is TK with XEA Developer TV. I am here at the Mobile World Congress 2016. We're at the Samsung booth right now, and I have a question for you. Does the presence of an app drawer in your launcher make it or break it for you as far as an actual experience with a mobile device? I'm going to explore that, and I'd like to bring up that question to you guys and uh, what it means to us now that we now have options. First, we're going to look at the S7 Edge. The normal UI that we saw from Samsung announced with the device, as far as the S7 Edge or S7 Edge Plus, uh, one of the things we noticed, there is an app drawer. This is something that's present. This is something that we're used to from, from many generations of the uh, Galaxy S line. And one of the things that we noticed that came with the device now is a new feature. And that's a feature that gives us the ability not only to change the UI, but exactly just get rid of that entire process entirely. And it's basically cool. It just says shows all applications on the home screen. And by doing so, when you go back to the home screen, we don't have an app drawer anymore. Everything is on the home screen. Your widgets, your applications, your folders, everything that you normally experience on the device is now present on the home screen. Is this better or does using the existing original system or the original UI something that we can use? And the question would be is obviously as you can see here, Samsung is experimenting with this. They want to see if this is something that would work for you. Where I'm looking at it is, is this something that as a either a US user or even international user, do we really care if the actual app drawer is not there? Now a lot of people talked about as far as the LG devices not having that, it came out of the box and I showed you guys with a video that we did here on XDA, how we're able to bring that back. But Samsung right out of the box gives us the option to basically go with an app drawer or without. So the question is, what do you guys think? Let's check out the LG. So now we're looking at the G5, and one of the other things that we noticed that when the device was released is the fact that we don't have an app launcher. No, we're actually in an app drawer, specifically in the actual launcher itself. And of course, this is fixed enough, and I showed you guys in the video before, that if you just go to the Easy Home, launch it, the app drawer is back, and it's something that now, it seems to be that by default, at least, we're seeing here is that you're no longer getting the actual app drawer. Now, after speaking to LG and getting some more clarifications on the device situation, this is a pre-built software. So one of the things they're probably going to end up doing when the software becomes final is as opposed to having two, just sim home and simple, they're going to have the home without the actual app drawer, a home with it, and then another simple one, which is what's typically usually found within NG devices as far as the simplified home user. So question to you guys is, does it matter to you if you have an app launcher or not, or actually an app drawer or not? Keep it here with us at XDA. Let me know in the comments below. These are two main flagship providers that are giving you the option now to have it or not to have it. Down the road, do we have that option anymore? Or do we not have it with the new version of Android? Again, let me know in the comments, and we'll see you guys in the next one.